Hello, welcome back to Freddy in the Shed. Yeah, we're back up in the radio shack. Got another one of these little SI4732 radios in for review. Do you remember I did one of these a few weeks ago? I called it a spy radio because it's absolutely tiny. Well, I've been following these online and I'm amazed at how quickly this radio is developing. There is already a supposedly a Mark II version coming out. I have ordered that to come in. It's not in the shack yet. But that comes pre-shipped with the Mark II latest firmware, which I installed on my original radio. Kind of mixed feelings about the new firmware. It makes the menu system so much easier. But having seen this one again with the original firmware, I'm not sure that if I don't prefer the layout of the original firmware. When I get to the end of the video, I'll let you know what I think because obviously the menu system is quite frustrating on the original. But everything else about the radio seems to seems to have improved. And of course, you can very easily upgrade this to the latest version of the firmware if you choose. And I did make a video on that. Now, I need to apologise to people because I was completely caught with my trousers down when I made that with that video on upgrading the firmware because I was just so surprised how quickly this evolved. And although I used version 0.28 on that video, things had moved on so quickly in the week or so by the time I got that on the channel and people did have problems with the radios bricking. So I always say to you, if you're gonna update firmware, always choose the latest uh, download make sure you use that and you should be should be fine these radios of course are in continued development so there are going to be problems um, with non-functioning firmware but you should be able to go back to the original so that's what we've got in the shack today i think we'll have a look straight away what comes in the box it's getting quite important now what comes in the box because the prices have bottomed out and it now sort of you know looks what options you want what antenna and so forth so let's see what comes in the box i think the first thing that's important is the upgrade in the 3D printing on the radio itself. This was a very early example, and I did criticize it quite heavily in the review, and I stand by that, it was very, very poor. This version, much, much better, much more detailed. We can now see that it says radio down. Let's get a little screen protector off it. So yeah, the quality on the 3D printing is much better you know, pretty much professional professional standard now. Certainly uh, nothing to complain about. As I did mention, as I say, this one is running the original firmware, which is fine actually. I mean, it does work. It just means that you've got that double press in the menu system there um, to live with. You can get used to it, and I have got used to it, but I will say that it's worth upgrading, or oh, I haven't got it switched on, but it's worth upgrading to the later firmware. I think eventually these radios will just ship with the later firmware. One improvement that's even better than my attempt at an improvement, but it, this one has a much bigger VFO knob. It doesn't sound like a lot, but because everything is controlled by the single VFO, you are going to be using that a lot, and the original very, very small knob wasn't very comfortable to use. So yeah, straight away, a big improvement. Let's have a look what you get in the box, because I say that's becoming important now. Now, as the price for these stabilizer at their bottom level, it's quite important to see what you get in the box. And currently, as I'm making this video on this radio, and this is why I got this one in, this one is shipped with two antennas. I think this changes depending on what stock level is available. So you just have to be careful, and make sure you do look at the pictures at the point of sale. So this one, yeah, ships with what is becoming a bit of an industry standard now, really. This is a wide band, what they call donut antenna, 
10k to 180k SMA Mal fitting on this one and that just screws onto the radio now obviously it is a small antenna um, you will pick up some of the larger broadcast shortwave bands and we will try this later on in the video the main advantage of these donut type antennas over the telescopics is that they are directional you see you've got that arrow there so you can tighten this down and then they will rotate and this will help you to reduce man-made interference especially if you um, live in a modern house with loads of uh, power supply units and computers you can filter filter that out but as I say you only will get the you won't really get much ham radio for example on that um, as always your radio is only as good as your antenna and really you need a, a separate long wire or an outdoor antenna but also supplied with this one is a rather small but useful little telescopic antenna it's only about 30 centimeters long mainly used for the fm bands and also probably work quite well on long wave again we'll bring you the bring you these sort of stronger shortwave radio stations but it will bring in more noise than the loop but it's good that you get the option with this radio and for the money I, I think it's worth paying an extra couple of pounds just to get the two, the two antennas that's really about it in the box you get USB-C lead for charging the radio now the radio ships with an 800 mAh battery and they reckon that that is good for up to 10 hours. Um, I haven't really recharged my other one to be honest. It's only just about dropping, and I've used it uh, used it quite a lot. You get a basic set of instructions. You really don't need instructions on this. Um, yeah, it does. It does tell you a bit like the original one. Um, it's, it's saying that it hasn't got a headphone amplifier and this this is a problem that I'm hoping is going to be addressed with the Mark II version. It's not a biggie if you're going to be listening with the built-in speaker because it's got a uh, mobile, fo mobile, fo mobile phone, get it right Fred, type speaker and it's actually very clear. But on headphones the output is um, very quiet. You can buy a small little inline amplifier from Banggood for about six or seven pounds and then use an external speaker a bit unfortunate but that's really how it is now everything else on the radio is the same as the one i, I reviewed before very nice screen on these i gotta say this is probably one of the uh, the best features 1.9 inches but the resolution is quite good at 320 by 170 and even with the standard firmware which in a way if it wasn't for that menu system i do prefer because you've got a, like an analog tuning scale along the bottom there and it sort of gives you an idea of where you are on the tuning band it's a shame about the the double press that you have to learn but very very sharp screen very very sharp screen and a few of you have stuck with this original firmware and i can probably understand why right we'll do some testing on this then now just remember that when i connect this into my camera's mic input that will be amplified so what you hear on the video will be louder than if you just connect headphones unless your hearing is exceptionally good unfortunately mine isn't anymore anyway let's um let's get this outside and let's do some testing and we'll try the two different antennas nobody does it better show to must clear their mind must clear their diary and must clear their bladder because <laughs> you know but did he expect to play 840 times no he was a man full of musical wit full of jokes within his music next million pound finalists you'll find out next it's jake and kelly brooke this is heart Pain on ice, wait, um, news beat. All right, let's answer this once and for all. Is twin telepathy real? Well, call some seven 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 two seven to give ten pounds. Text cost your donation plus standard network. Donate now to get your forget me not. Just search forget me not appeal. I am 
From the Sky News Centre at six, a paddle boarding company owner has been jailed for ten and a half years over the death of four people who drowned in a river in southwest Wales. I, I put in for my original test September, October last year for March and sadly failed it. Managed to book a test yesterday, 1st of October. I finished university in about a month. I have an apprenticeship waiting for me, but it's on the ability that I can drive. With your sports headlines, Liverpool can win the title without lifting a finger tonight. They just need Arsenal to lose. Wednesday driving it to meet you, Raj Baden here. Of course, a drive sponsored by Pepe Firi Firi. Don't forget also, brand new... Substantially, gradually as mm. well. So, yeah, so a lot can be expected, that's for sure. So, we know the missions of Shenzhou 20 primarily uh, consist of, say, completing an in orbit rotation with the Shenzhou uh, 19 crew, which will. Uh, which are due to return to the Earth on this upcoming Tuesday next week. And in the meantime, they are also going to conduct some experiments in physics and life sciences. They are going to um, install some protective equipment against uh, those space debris. And one thing to mention here is that for the first time ever, some planarians have been brought uh, aboard. Here we are talking about... Um, so further integration of the programs um, is something that's happening right now. Hmm. So absolutely, this is win-win cooperation and mutual benefits for, for China and Pakistan to use a geopolitical term or a diplomatic term. But thank you very much for joining us. Are seeing slight to moderate declines in terms of economic activity. Only five reported any form of growth, and that growth was just a quote-unquote slight. Three districts said conditions were flat, and the remaining four saw activity dip or decline modestly. The report by the Fed is pointing to a major factor behind this kind of... I've noticed that I didn't bother upgrading the firmware on this one. You know, having got the two versions now, I still prefer the layout and the display on the original firmware. I just think it looks cleaner 
a bit more classy in a way and I do like the analog tuning dial at the bottom especially when you're on shortwave of course the downside of it it has that brutal timeout on the menu and you have to time that double click and even though I've been using this one in a previous gen for some time it still catches me out and I still find it frustrating that has been uh, sorted with the we'll call it the mark ii firmware and it's quick and easy to update if you want to want to do so let's hope because this radio is being continually developed and uh, let's hope that we'll call it say the mark iii comes along let's hope that they take some of the attributes from the original firmware such as the display and add the usability of the better menu system from the second one and let's hope they join them together with the mark iii but as for now i've just kept it with the original and I've put up with that double click. Good bit of fun. I mean, that's what it really, I asked the final word really. I mean, it is good fun. Uh, as I say, these are just above 20 pounds now on, on Banggood. Maybe on the, the new one that I've got coming in, that, that one claims to have a headphone amplifier. I haven't tested that yet, obviously. So uh, that would sort the headphone side of it out. I think it really needs it. I mean, I use a little headphone amplifier. This is quite a flash one, if you like. It's got these little valve tubes. I mean, you don't you don't really need those. You, again, you can pick up a little headphone amplifier on a Banggood made out of metal and whatnot, probably about five or six pounds. So if you bought these at the same time, certainly just probably around about 30 pounds gets you the, uh, gets you the set, set up. This did come in from Banggood, of course. So if you're interested in this, there is a link in the description. As I've worked for Banggood for some time, I do get a discount code and that could save you a few quid off as well. And that's that's really that's really about it. As I say, stay tuned because as, as the newer versions of these come out, I will be getting them into the shack to test. And the new one, or the latest one, will be coming in quite soon. So that video will be coming up in the future but that's it for now as always i like to thank you for your view time on fred in the shed i'm still a small channel i don't get that many views per video so cheers thumbs up from me thank you for tuning and if you get a second just hit me a thumbs up down below before you go yeah i'd appreciate that and as always please 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 look after each other for me stay safe and of course i'll catch you all on the next one cheers guys Fred's in the shed where the magic unfolds Fred in the shed With his trusty CB He's a friend to the lonely On a frequency